Hey there folks, Paul Markle with Student of the Gun and we're out here in God's wide open wilderness. We do a little bit of winter training and today I have in my hands the ARX100 from Beretta. Some of you just said, hey, didn't they discontinue that for commercial sales in 2019? Yes, they did, but they still are out there. They're in people's hands. And uh, I just recently bought this one about six months ago and I wanted to test it out. Maybe it hasn't been that long, doesn't matter. I wanted to test it out and see why they discontinued it. What was wrong with this gun? Is there anything wrong with it? I mean, Beretta is obviously a reputable manufacturer. The ARX 100 only weighs 6.8 pounds empty without an optic on it. And this is the Aimpoint PRO or patrol rifle optic, super solid, fantastic optic right there from Aimpoint. So uh, I got it and I said, you know, I'm gonna try this thing out. I'm gonna try and figure out what was wrong with it. Why weren't people buying it? It is universally ambidextrous. It has an ambidextrous uh, selector lever. It has an ambidextrous charging handle that you can switch from left to right very easily. Not only that, but you can change it so that it either ejects from the right or it ejects from the left. So this gun and the magazine release is right here in the center. What magazines does it use? It uses the standard M16 AR-15 magazines. And I've got a bunch of them today. No. It will not take the, the Magpul M3 magazines, for those of you that are wondering. I did install an aftermarket. This came from Beretta. It's an aftermarket rail system underneath. I installed that, and I also installed an oversized or a large uh, grip knob or knob on the charging handle. This has a 16-inch barrel. Like I said, it's 6.8 pounds. It has a lot of polymer, high-strength polymer, aluminum and steel where it counts. Oh, and it also has flip up, fold down sights, which were easy for me to, uh, to co-witness. I co-witnessed these sights with this red dot. Uh, and it came with the sling, came with one magazine, came with a nice case. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna shoot the ever living snot out of this thing today and see how it performs. All right, guys, we've come to the end of the day and I've got a confession to make. Before we came out here today, I actually had this out at the range a couple of other times, put about somewhere between two and change and 300 rounds through it. We put about 200 rounds through this thing today and the only problem we had was with this Amend 2 magazine. It's the first time I've ever used one of these. I just bought it last week at a local store. Had two stoppages with this. That's not good. Make that go away. Lancer mag, no problem. GI Joe aluminum mag, no problem. The MFT, no problem. And the, uh, the Magpul MOE mags or the Gen 2 mags, no problem. I fired Black Hills, Remington, Winchester, Federal, and Hornady ammo through this. So Black Hills, Remington Federal, Winchester, and Hornady 556223 through this. Had no problems with any of those cartridges. We hit the targets at 25, 50, 100, 200 yards, no problem. There's nothing wrong with this gun. It's just that you freaks didn't wanna buy it. Now, the good news is the tooling in the machines in Tennessee are still there. So they could turn them on and start making these guns again. Uh, they're good guns. Like I said, if you're a lefty, uh, if you're one of those sinister people out there, you probably will love this gun because it'll eject from the left side, uh, which is a smart feature. There's a lot of really good features on this gun. And when you think about it, all the features, it's not really that expensive. So 
there you go, the Beretta ARX100. Yes, it is discontinued, but uh, despite that fact, it is a really solid, well-functioning combat rifle.